Colin, did you get your ARAM recap yet? No, it's been loaded this whole time. I think we're live. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Juan. I'm casting here with Luke, Do Some Bro, and Hockey, aka Ben. We're going to have Sharima versus Froyor tonight for playoff. Um, whoever wins this goes to finals, so it should be interesting. I have an ad on the stream right now, so I have no idea if the volume is good or not. Mm-hmm. Do people usually join the stream before we even send it announcements? Like, is anyone just waiting for that Twitch notification? There's probably one or two, right? And I, they, I bet, I hope it's Slimsh. That's what I care about. We got some Slimsh. Let us know if the volume's That's good. That's the best part of this community. <laughs> but no, I have not gotten my ARAM recap yet. <laughs> it's been loading since yeah, yesterday. Same. Maybe in a few days I can hope to get mine. <laughs> yeah. Um... All right, so I believe we have the draft link up. Oop. There it is. Shreema, no joke, versus Freljord, no joke. Lame names. Oh, they're both not joking around this time. They were joking around a regular season from the way they were playing, but not right now. No, sir. Yeah, draft has started. Shreema is blue side. Freljord had side selection, right? Ah, uh, yes, for earlier in size selection, they chose red. And so, Misfortune first ban. Yep, that's against Noodle Magic, who has played a lot of Misfortune this season, so they're trying to get him off of that comfort pick. And same thing goes for the Trinomir on Tolomo. However, if you watch the uh, the game Trima played against Crystal Scar, they had no intention of putting Lomo in top lane. So, I think that ban could be a waste. Interesting. We'll yeah, just have to see. The Karthus ban. They're scared of Tawiri inting. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard this one's a regular ban, isn't it? Pretty interesting. Yep. We're not a Glask. Okay. That's for King Dan T. Again, if Lomo goes support, then that ban is also not. Yeah. Sometimes when they ban the Trindomir, they just put King Dan top. I know last time when Froyo played them, they banned Trindomir, they banned Vex, and then they banned Rek'Sai. So probably just substituting one of those for Renata. Oh, they're pulling out the Ivern technique. <laughs> yes. All right, how did the Ivern technique work for your team one? Uh, you know, <laughs> we won games with it. All we right, there's lost the Vex ban. It. It works, so they're kind of fine with Rek'Sai. All right, let's see what first pick for Shreema is. I mean, I think it has to be Nocturne, yeah. It's going to be the Nocturne, yeah. Condescent pick. It makes sense. Yep. Yep. First, first Nocturne. So, Clary Nocturne. triple banned effectively. So, does he have any he picks plays, besides these big three that he's Garner. been playing? He's going to play Wukong. Garner. Yeah, Skarner, Wukong. They could also put him, like, he's, he played Mage's ADC before him this year. <laughs> yeah, but if they do that, it would be what? Turtle, Topper, Jungle, and then yeah. mag- new Magic support, right? Yep. Well, Skarner could I definitely think be a good Derek pick. Is a turtle play. Careful. But if I feel like an AP Mage with Tarek isn't that great. No, I don't think it is. Kind of surprised it's Tarek in general, though. Like, Bert plays like. Yep. They play Enchanters mostly in the bot lane. Oh, there's the Skarner. Oh, here's the luck. Garner, so we'll have to wonder if a champion like Morgana could come out in response to these two. But um, they won't. myself, I'm familiar with the champion pool of most of these players. I I can't. They don't know say. Morgana. They're scared. Well, you just gotta press E, you know, and it'll take you. Believe it or not, that's the hardest part of Morgana. <laughs> Pressing E is the hardest part of Morgana. <laughs> Tell that to my ARM teammates. <laughs> And instead, it will be her her lightful counterpart Lux. Ah, uh, that has to be the bone wolf Lux. Wrist. <clears throat> yep. Now is that going to be a, a support Lux? We think. He yeah, plays for sure. Lux both support and mid, but it's probably support. Okay. Well, yeah. with that Syndra, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So. Yeah, I mean, Garden like kind of, kind of a really tough time running at these guys. Yeah, and I have to wonder if maybe they'll pick the mid lane Victor now. In response, I have a 
secret dark orb prediction that Victor is going to come out here, but no, it looks like they'll hover. Oh, that, that's not a magic on Sever. Yeah. It's so, his other big champion, right? Misfortune Sever, maybe Zaya's been played a bit, but... Interesting. A little bit Sever. Pretty good synergy with Skarner. They both like to run. <laughs> and in the second round of bands, we've got ADC and top left for Shrima, and what, mm -hmm. mid... Top left top, for Frogger. Yeah. I think you ban. Wait. Lucian. It's probably going to be like tank killers, right? If King Dant mostly plays tank top, and Colonel Combo plays like all tank killers. Yeah. Mm. Could also be like a Diana ban, Victor ban too. Like try to pinch out uh, Milton's pool. Nope, they're getting rid of the tank killers. I think you ban Malphite. Oh, Shen. 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 Okay. That's pretty good synergy with the Nocturne. I respect it if you don't want to. Are they practicing it? Yeah, Fiora ban makes sense. I don't know I don't if they're remember. practicing it. I don't remember. I know Booz plays Shen. Shen, but Booz is usually the jungler. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a good champion. Pretty easy, and it could work well here. So. And Sharima probably has to blind pick top this game, right? Because yeah. Freljord most likely will pick the mid lane. No, why, why wouldn't you pick mid lane right now? You already know that's, the uh, opponent mid lane. Yeah, that's, yeah what that, that's what he's saying. Oh, Freljord I think he picks mid now picked. and then picks. Freljord top. should pick mid now. Uh, probably right. be like a Victor or a Diana. Ooh, oh, well, it's not. That's, that's not mid laner. Oh, right. so oh, it could be a mid laner, actually. <laughs> it could yeah, be like. like a fudge cast special. I would though. be surprised, but think about it. It's big brain. So maybe Urgot is just a really contested <laughs> pick among the two. I don't know. I don't think it no. is, but if Shrima wants to be a bunch of chads, they gotta pick the Ramus top here. They won't. Mm. No, they won't, but they should. Oh, the Malphite will pretty... You know what they're probably similar... doing? They're probably banning out the Malphite and playing Silas Stop into it. That's my guess for Frodo. It could be. It, it, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, you don't even have to lane the Silas against the Malphite for it to be value. Of course, it would be even better, but I wonder what the Urgot Cinder matchup is, but I can't imagine the first time imaginable. All right, is this a Silas pick? And as Kaisa's locked in for ADC. Here we do is. see you are you're spot on. It's the, it's the Silas bait. That's... I knew it. It's Urgot mid. Yeah, I respect it. Well, Urgot into Syndra and Malphite both sound like a not fun lane for the Urgot, though. That is the thing. Urgot definitely would get harassed by Syndra early. He definitely has a really strong all-in cheese potential. That I yeah. If they are ending up against each other in lane, we could see some funny things. So I'm excited to see which lane actually is these two bruisers go into. Uh, Silas had Malphite ult and Lux Nocturne, right? But I feel like Syndra is that great because you don't have that many balls. You just have the three, right? That's true. You don't get full value. I believe you just get like the minimum damage, but it's still like a nuke that scales really well with AP. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the ult is just the worst Nocturne ult, unless you care about the shield. Sure, it is. So yeah, I mean, aside from Malphite, it's not the cream of the crop, but I, I still respect what they've done here in the draft. I think it's a really cool trick that they played. It's like a smart way of baiting it. But like, okay, Absolutely. imagine if this Malphite was a Ramus though. Like what is Silas gonna right, do that's to the Ramus? Thing, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the double big brain as you play the Ramus instead, yeah. Oh, actually, they just said Malphite mid, right? The <laughs> preemptively counter You just Silas. matched the Urgot. You have to like flop the slot. Yeah. Well, but then you have Cinder top lane, that's kind of awkward. But... Here you just have Urgot Silas kind of like sit in river or in like the bush outside of uh, red buff. And then you just kind of walk to lane depending on who you see where. No harm because they both want MR rune. So there's another thing about Shreema. They are pretty magic damage heavy. We'll see what Kaisa builds. But I think Kaisa, I think King Pui usually goes AD. Like a Kraken Slayer into a like quick blade yeah. kind of thing? Yeah. 
yeah, I, I definitely see that build being pretty effective here. Um, yeah, the AP build, maybe maybe against these wouldn't be the worst, but... Freljord's definitely a very low range comp, that's for sure, so... I think the Kaisa is definitely the star of Shurima here. I think it's going to be Syndra Lux. They can just... If yeah. they ever get to an objective first, Freljord has no good way of walking at them. I mean, Syndra ult and you run at them, right? But... Syndra, yeah, you kind of, yeah, I mean, you're we... gonna have to do it, right? They're just gonna have to pop Sivir ult, get the Taric thing on Skarner, maybe, like, pop all the things, get the ult going down, and so hope I that, uh, you know, the CC dodge the abilities. immediate peel isn't enough, right? But it's it's definitely something, the Lux Binding, the Scatter of the Weak. Yeah, but like, if they run at you like that, Noctum can just turn off the lights, and now you're running... He can, he can turn off the lights, but look, the... you can still see in a pretty small radius around you, and if Skarner's going that fast, he, he can see you and he can ult you. Just needs to know the direction in the target. But it is true. They they definitely do have some good zone control if they're able to set up. Although after the Merc treads and everything. I don't know. It'll be interesting. All I want to There's say a very tanky team that. from Freljord. That that's for sure. So Cinder Lux, they're gonna have a tough time like actually one shotting someone not named Siver. Later in the game. Yep. I do want to see, though, Silas stealing Nocturne ult and then getting the Taric ult and then going in and 1v5ing Invincible. Yeah, that is true. The Silas taking the Nocturne ult is definitely something else that's pretty important that could happen. Um, obviously, it would really only happen when you can't take Malphite ult, but there are some cool things you can do with it, especially on like a level 6 run. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. This game looks terrible for Sivir. Like, you can't really like once you're in range of anyone to mm -hmm. auto attack, you're probably just dying from the mages. That is the thing, Sivir. Yes, she's definitely playing. She's the highest range character into a team who who definitely outranges her, and she has one spell shield to help her. But yeah, that is true. She's gonna have a tough time trying to. Alright, he goes lethality every time, right? Well, does Noodle go to lethality? You don't have or... minus fifteen percent damage dealt. The world is kind of your oyster, isn't it? No. Nope. <laughs> so, you know, it could work. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I think as the only source of wave clear on the team, unless maybe you count Titanic Hydra or Got, um, I wouldn't be surprised to just see the normal Shiv Quick Blades build here, but. I wonder if we'll see any variation there. I think it's going to be very important how this bot lane goes. But oh wait, I gotta just... see this big shit. All right, so Shreema versus Bro, you're I'm gonna do the Lodo while I wait. So, <clears throat> I feel like the only thing Broyard really has going for them is the Silas and Smallfight lane, if they're able to get that. But every other lane, I don't think it's going to go well, personally. So, I think this is a Shurima game, or a Shurima victory. Yeah. I oh, because I mean... I don't know. I think lots of it depends what Skarner does, too, for how these lanes are going to go. I haven't played Skarner in probably like season four, but you can't really gank until six unless you want to get the E stun. I mean, I think if you just get the slow up on Sinjit, it's pretty easy for Ergot to follow up, but we'll see. And I looked, Noodle Magic played one game of Lethality Sivir, it did not go well, and he's stuck to crit ever since. Just like I'm gonna message him right now. <laughs> <laughs> no mod bias at all here.
What's important though is neither team have any of the Chemtech champions. I'm talking a Mumu, Orange, Seraphine. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a coin flip toss up on who's going to win this one. Oh. Misfortune. Yep. All right. The game's live now. Yeah, loading in. Any cool skins? Do we got Elementalist Lux? Oh, we have a Lethal Tempo Sugar. That's true. Sure. First Strike Silas. I don't know what Silas goes, but I don't. I, I see First Strike most commonly, I think, yeah. Really? It's not Conqueror? Um, I don't really know how Silas has evolved to this current day, but I see First Strike a lot. That's all I know. Wonder if there are any other works in the runes, but yeah, peeps of time for Sivir, isn't it? So remember, the loser of the series is eliminated from pretty big Bash ten. Wait, ten? Right, we're on ten. No, it is eleven. What am I this talking is about? Eleven, yeah. What's it important is, one. is who gets these first crystals. That is going to dictate the tempo of this game. Absolutely. The game starts right. right when the game does with Skarner on the Rift. Yep. And but you know what? Whoever loses this, it's also eliminated from Blue Bash 10. How about that? The stakes are even higher now. Well, Eternal combo. Might fighting. just face check this. And, yeah. Already getting slowed. Levels E dashes away. And it looks like there's not really a threat of a kill here. And he wanted to eat anyway, so oh, all good there. Uh, what time are you at, Luke? I'm get harassed and the, the back stopped though. So I'm at one thirteen. I'm at one fifteen. Yeah, I'm at one fourteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could speed up a little. Okay. <clears throat> Twenty one. All right, let me. Uh, looks like Urgot's still going Let's top lane. Yeah, yes, looks like it, it will be the normal top laners. So not a full bamboozle here, but. Still having Silas with Malfit on the enemy team is threat enough. How is the Silas in the Cinder lane? I have no idea how that goes. I'd imagine I, not great I don't know Silas, either. I, I'd imagine Cinder's fine going into a melee. Yeah, I mean, whenever Silas is at you, you can probably just scatter him. and then Yeah, the scatter definitely helps a lot. I would imagine it has to be Cinder favorite. I, I can't see how Silas is going to... Oh, wait. That's a lot of early damage top, yeah. That's a lot, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That can be strike yeah. one for King Dante. <laughs> Ooh, Sun landing in the bot lane. Not much going to come of it. And we're all going to hit our level twos peacefully. Oh, luck finding it. Double binding, wow, really good one. The E gonna follow up. Good damage and wow, Turtle is already falling. Oh, Sivir started call into Doran's blade on the other side. Now Harass is big in the mid lane too. Double TPs, so no Ignite kill is gonna come out, but Combo also falling quite low to the Cinder to both the potions. As the junglers just finish up their clears. So definitely the early lane's going pretty well on the side of Sharina. Oh, we or, have an early gank from the Skarner. It looks like it'll be yeah, a kill. Can splash on the Syndra, but it's not going to save her. First blood. The Twery. The Brit on the Rift. Well, he did the thing. He walked into lane and pressed E. So, you he know, did, I was yeah. wrong. He did do just that, and it worked perfectly. It's like a four and he's just going to go about his merry way, finish the clear, and... Yeah, huge help for combo in this mid lane. And then it looks like Fudge Cow is doing just fine in the top lane. He had the 10 CS lead currently. He had the wave push. He got. Is he going to scuttle? He did not get scuttle. Yeah. And. Right, yeah, they saw Nocturne the bottom rug. path. Because they got a path through so the looks like, Yeah. A trade of crabs going on. Cinder spent 75 gold just to give it to the Skarner. <laughs> Hate it when it happened. <laughs> yeah. For the shame. And trades in the top. Looking pretty oh, even so far. And Terry coming in for 
maybe the second gank. Big wave crashing in, so we'll see. It looks like it's going to back off as Cinder goes down toward the other side. So I believe the tech against Urga, just you just rush ward and fail, right? And on Malphite, pretty good. That's so. personally what I would do on Malphite. I'd rush ward and fail here, yeah. Um, we'll see if that ends up happening or not. Well, it looks like Skyn is going to go for uh, more of a, like a bruiser Triforce build and not pure tank. The tri uh, Trinity Force? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's Tabby's. And I'm going to be kind of upset if he builds Tabby's. Ooh, Turtle really far ahead of the AD carry here. They have a big wave, but it's not fair with them. That's going to be strike one. Are you keeping track of all the strikes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nocturne's down here, too. Yeah, they're only level 4, so the gank isn't going to be yep. the strongest just to do, so. yet, but... Yeah, it looks like, like I got out on the board. Oh, good zoning, E. But... Yeah, but... Not much comes from it. Some big CS oh, leads already is already really... and top. That was kind of scary for Noodle. He was uh, very far up without support or a wave. Was there a strike for yeah. missing the cannon? And no. Then... No, okay. Nah, you know, it happened to the best of us. <laughs> Noodle did opt for the uh, coal to start off, but unfortunately it's down 17 CS, so it's not it a good... Very, uh, not great to see when you're trying to stack that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, King Pui with the stats and Doran's Blade, it looks like he's making use of those, that early power he's going to have, especially having the range support on his side, so it's no surprise that uh, Shurima's going to be winning this early, or Reliord is going to be... Shurima, yes. I'm just gonna be winning this early lane, but oh, yeah, the game top is on the top lane. That should oh, be an ult from the Urgot. Oh, well, big ult! Some Malphite and an ult back oh. in. But he was low enough to get sentenced to death by Urgot. Chains the, come in and uh, flashes out. Oh, is not that. that was close. I think Skarner could kind of go in with Urgot and just play boost. Oh, interesting. The Malphite is uh, running hex slash. He did. Yep. Oh, you're right. This is like hex flash biscuits, huh? Kind of surprised. It's, uh, it's an angle, I suppose. I think he's going bombies first. Ninja tabby bombies. Uh, oh like, no! Um, but uh, so two successful ganks from Twery. Well, Booz is still farming up to six, but on close to even jungle clear. So the early game is actually going quite fine for Felio. Yeah. But the bot lane is still a point of, of trouble with this uh, 24 CS difference. Okay, well, now it's very What was it here to play? Uh, combo had no mana. He went in with no mana. Very okay, the heal's top and he yeah. is rooted. Oh, two ganks. There's one in the top and one in bot. Who's is here? Okay, that's, you, you after the ult. Yeah, they're going to get one. I don't know what's going to pull him in, but... Not under the turret, so a good counter gig from Rima. Oh, that's a TP bot from Silas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I guess they're swapping just for wave management. Yeah, you purposes. might just push the wave and then go back mid. That's my guess. It looks like Especially it. Especially if bot house has to back. Maybe well, we we'll trying to stop the back. For a cheeky kill with the malfidel that he's stolen. Uh, not gonna go for it though. Oh, it did not seem like a good fight for for all your in my opinion. Yeah, Syndra. Wait a minute. I think all done the Syndra, though. I was held in. The stun. The damage is coming. And Syndra's low, but not dead. Yep, the bot lane is here. Sivir is still pretty far away, but all of Shrima yeah. is pretty low. And Silas goes back in onto Booz and has to flash out after the Scout of the Week comes out. Sivir's here, but she's level 5. Sivir has the, the item, though. 
the Shreem Shreem Bali didn't get the back. I actually did get to recall by the yeah. nuclear barrel. I get this still on two long swords. So that additional power will let Freljord have the confidence to start up the dragon. And it looks like they're going to get it with less stress. Lux is 5, she, she can't steal it, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be a guaranteed dragon. All is said and done. So. We'll oh, wow. Uh, we were talking about the CS difference in the bot lane. We also got to look at the CS difference in the top yeah, lane right the, now. The CS difference in the top lane was amassing all the same and has even gone a little bit crazy. Uh, 87 to 29, so you don't see that every day. No, I mean, King Dante, I think, is primarily a support player, and secondary role is top, and he did a great job when he played against my team uh, last week. He didn't need a CS, he just needed Yeah, he kill. was down CS, <laughs> but he was doing pretty well in the top lane, getting some yeah. kills. Yeah, so... Yeah, the gold difference in, in both bot and top is pretty big uh, on opposite sides, but as Sivir picks up this plate, it's going to get a little bit better for Noodle Magic. Only down around 500 gold now. Oh no, Noodle took a tower shot. Yeah, popping the ult to get it up. So is this going to be Everfrost Silas with the Kindle Gem? I think so, right? Yeah, Probably. that's going to look like an Everfrost. I don't see why he would opt for the crown um, in a game like this. I haven't been built crown since it came out. And they nerfed it. It's pretty... Uh, Oh, it looks like we, we do have this Garner Urga walk into the top lane to push Nocturne off, and then they're just going to go right to Herald. But it looks like Silas might be overstaying. His team's not there. Took a lot of damage, but they did get the Herald. So we'll see where Skarner decides to put it. I think it's either top or mid. I think you put it mid, get Silas out of that lane where he's not necessarily strong. Yeah, but you might just want to get the gold on too. Urgot. Especially if you're well, coming to the bot lane. Their bot lane is not really able to fight, but it looks like it Ooh. doesn't matter. Old King Gold down. get a kill though? Does get one in return. Well, looking for two, not going to find the second one. I hope he didn't ult bot. Nope, he ulted mid, I think. Yeah, I think he just ulted to like... try to turn off the lights. Yeah, I got the flash of the Skarner. That was a great uh, roam from Silas. Take the knock to bot, be the jungler. Be the jungler you want to be. <laughs> yeah. In a fun interaction, we could see if, if the Silas wants to steal the Nocturnal, it can just get spell shielded away if, if he reacts fast enough. So there's something to keep an eye out for if it happens. But. Yep, yeah, there's the Silas of a Frost. Yeah, with a gold light like this, a dragon and a herald up, things are looking pretty good for Freljord in the early game. But Team Pui himself, on the other side, does have an agreeable start for himself. So, looking to pick up a plate as he can before it's in drop. Oh, what a actually, beautiful the sun stun! Onto Lone Wolf under tower, he's actually just gonna blow up uh, and die. The ult might not have been necessary, but yeah, maybe a bit overkill, but. Kill is a kill nonetheless. Exactly. It looks like Noctin's here maybe trying to turn uh, this bait into 2v2. Yeah, in case... No Terracol. I mean, the 2v2 is maybe an angle you want to take here. We walk yeah, I mean, yeah. neither of them have ult. Oh, right and here. as Eric face checks this, Nocturne going in, getting the fear. Nice sidestep. And actually, with no flash on the Terrac, just going to fall. So really good gank there. Good patience. Oh, they dropped the Herald the top, of them, But this Herald top this is... This might crash again. Yeah, I got to crash under yeah. the tier 2. <laughs> so full plating from that top turret. Okay, so... they're going to take the next Herald and take Inhibitor Tower with it. Mark my word. <laughs> it's definitely something that could happen with this the power that this Urgot currently has. And Malphite pretty far behind in gold and XP. Twary living up. In the blue side jungle. Oh, I think Malphite's just going for his mythic. So no Warden's Veil, no bombies. Yeah, it looks like it just might be the Iceborne mythic first. No smile items. Uh, 
Wait, Nocturne? An aggressive spot on the Gromp. Fuck spell, uh, heal some poke. Oh, oh wait, we got a teleport we, coming in? We, we, we do see the teleport coming in. And they're looking to corner this Nocturne. There's nowhere to go. Gonna look to flash over the wall. Can't get out in time as the fear oh, beyond the death. Nocturne. And here's the entire enemy team. Oh, big combos, but Malphite comes and gets the kill. The stolen Malphite ult. Wow. Malphite should go down here. Oh, Garner from the back. He has ult still. That should be a dead luck. They're going to die from Malphite. Oh my god. Oh my god. Before the 15 minute cut rank from this TP from Milton Fudge Cow and the air guy. He's 6 and up. Wow, that's incredible. Alright. We're never going to hear the end of it. <laughs> yes, Urgot alive, Urgot alive. Yeah. What a convincing team fight when a clean ace at the 15 minute mark is not what you want to be receiving on the side of Shirima. Yeah, my Shirima vote in the beginning before. not looking so hot right now. Yeah. And a bunch of gold and the dragon picked up as the bounty for this team fight. And... But this is Chemtech, so this is like. Objective <laughs> bounty, 700 gold swing. Like, if this goes on Kaisa, right. like, completely That's different. That's all you game. see 700 gold going into the pocket of this Kaisa at some point in the game, potentially. But two item are got 15 minutes, and two, they being tanky items as well. Ooh. Sure. Bit tough. A nice spell shield, actually, from Christo. Able to dodge the root part of the Lux kit. Still taking a chunk, but a really good reaction timer there. Syndra did end up going in the Andrews, recognize that there's not a lot of blowable mm -hmm. targets. Blowable, maybe blowable is not the word I want to use. Oh, yeah, like the Andrews definitely going to have a lot of high value tanks. Absolutely the correct choice. You would even want to almost see it on Lux too, but I understand why you'd prefer the Ludens. Was that the first Pentakill in Blue Flash 11? I thought there, this was like the second one. I, think I couldn't tell another one. We do see the objective bounty is actually present on this turret. King Pui willing to take a tower shot to whittle. And we oh, kind of got... Oh, the hex flash! The team is not on the same page. He hex flashed over when the team was walking and away. I like pulled another turret, but it is oh, a 4 like, so. though. Ooh, before I'm the terracle, the, the double kill? The terracle is coming down, but it's actually not going to land in time. But they're losing top tower. Yeah. I don't think that's but it is true. Urgot split pushing on the side. And that's why they were able to win this fight, because this huge Urgot wasn't present. That was crazy. Yeah, the Mount yeah. Fight Hex Flush over the wall, and then the Terracle just wasn't hit fast enough. They were able to get a good Gather the Week off from Syndra and just clean up. Yeah, they also Skarner ulted the Mount Fight. Yeah, pretty well played team fight for both teams, I have to say. Um... I think also what was important is they recognized that Urgot was not in the team fight, and like exactly. that's, they knew that they could get multiple full kills from that yeah and that's why i received this aggression and it did ultimately pay off definitely some damage done to the top lane turrets on the rift in exchange but you kind of need all the trades you can get at this all point right. looks like there's gonna, right. just gonna be another fight at herald yeah it looks like the second herald might be yeah but Syndra is very behind but also silver has Syndra not rotated yet TP. indeed silver has not rotating when push tower night. and I'm not sure, and it was Charlie uh, who picked it up, and it looks like they're going to be winning the fight as well. Silas getting yes. a double and hitting the chains Whoa. for the triple. A huge scatter of the week does come out. But how oh, much is it going to be? That way, open back looking for a kill. What was he dodge? Doesn't find it. Dodges the chains, and he's kiting, but there's nothing you can kite on a level nine Kaisa against an Urgot so big. Neat uh, ruler at Baron in game four versus KT, and he will go down. Yeah. So we have this guy. They're going to drop Harold now, right? Please tell me about Harold now. Top? Looks like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The top side going to run right into the top lane. Fudge Cow, a little bit behind. Maybe not quite in the same. Oh, not but this is Harry who has a, a Herald. And yes, he's going right down to put it. But he's getting Nocturne ulted. Urgot's there to back oh, him up. Right. They the do have Malphite ult. Yeah, so it looks like and Herald gets its grass. And Sinja's trying to pick them hit. off in the jungle. Yeah, looking for the flank. Does not have the ultimate available, though. Ooh, that tower that almost went down. Camp. That was a good rotation from Sharima. I don't know if I like dropping the Herald there. Like, I feel like you could have just used it's it to a greedy play for sure. the map. 
Like, I don't think yeah, you've ever not a high value play. There, so. But if you're getting a charge, no I think, breaking up in the base. I you're, think you're not if he did it immediately, it would have been fine. But I think there was some kind of like back and forth before going to do it. But it's not too bad because whenever he wants, Fudge Cow can just walk up to this turret, kill it in uh, one or two auto attacks. It is regening slightly. The inhib is all but open at this point, and you have to be very careful using this. <clears throat> And it could be a key factor. Silas is a little overextended. He has some vision. Um, I don't know if it's that overextended. It's only Nocturne that can catch up to him, and it's like I think Silas wins yeah. the one v one. That's a bit of a protective layer, and no one is gonna quite come from him. As Prima starts pushing up in the mid lane, uses the Lux ability oh on Erga, and you wouldn't even know that they were fired. <laughs> With just the Merc treads, he's got under twenty nine. Oh, he has Jack Show. It's Jack Show, yeah. That, makes, that definitely explains it. <laughs> oh, Urgot Flank, maybe? That, uh, the unaware of the team in the bush, Urgot Flank? Sure could be, you know. We've got our Chemtech dragging up for the third of the game. And you have to imagine, there's going to be another 5v5 team fight, because that's the way she goes. Oh, this is the Urgot flank. Urgot setting himself up for success on a bit of a semi flank, and he's Ooh, just gonna going walk in. The Malphite in and then from Silas. So a Malphite ult's gonna come out. And oh man, Prima is dropping like flies, and the the fight is not even close. Actually, that's the that's the end of the review out. for Shreema right there. Yeah, I would see a top lane. To die, but oh, yeah, the TP. A TP oh, right to top lane. If they get the Drake, we're gonna look to get. Yeah. Are they gonna try to? They might get more than just this inhib. It's a big wave. Yeah, they really big wave tower. The death ones are low, so they're not gonna look for anything more. Oh wait, no, never mind. Looks it up. Probably just go straight for Baron though. Yeah, looks like they're actually gonna run right for the Baron after this. Thiver will be up in time to come over, dish out a few autos. But is this Urgot who's gonna be the one melting it? And we'll see if Shrima is willing to put up a fight against this Baron take, which might just end the game within a few minutes after. Nice. And it doesn't look like they're going to be approaching the pit in time. So the Baron's over, and we see this gold lead. It hits 10k at this point, the 22 minute mark, and it's all in the pockets of these solo winners. They get to run into their base. finds an angle to go in. They didn't reset off this Baron. They're they're killing the top lane. And nothing was really said. No cooldowns burnt. Actually, looks like Silas flushed. And they're gonna actually just march straight through top. All five members with this new Baron buff. No way. They don't have a huge no wave behind. Moment. Oh, and lots of damage to Silas. Greedy. This is extremely greedy. The fight is scrappy. Colonel combo falling oh, really low. And did blow that TP Silas. before. Yep. And yeah, the lights are out. He's gonna go in. Trade one for one to claim that shutdown. You can't blame him. But there's like nothing more will come of it. Think of the KDA. Indeed. Oh. Nah, it's good you get more fantasy points for a kill than you lose for a death. It's worth. Yeah, I mean, a huge shutdown was claimed there, so you gotta say that was worth. But fortunately, even in the bot lane, the gold has equalized Noodle ahead by a, a few hundred, and so this Kaisa, the saving grace, is not really in to take the game anytime soon. Alright, it's very yeah. important. This is the first turbo chem tank ever built in Season 13 of League of Legends on Scar. Agreed. <laughs> I, when I saw the Skarner pick, I was wondering if he was going to build it. Well, you have to. I, I mean, look, I give you the magic resist you want. He's I mean, this is also the first Skarner played in in fucking season 13. <laughs> Honestly, if I was a Skarner and I was like this far ahead, I would ego and start building like bruiser items, not full tank. I'm trying to steal yeah, the next crazy. Penta. My ability's coming out, but I mean, they just don't hurt. Yeah, the Luxol are not doing the damage yeah, yet. Very still full health. And... 
And they're all pretty tanky. You have yeah. to hit literally Sivir. Yeah, but even yeah. then, the 4v5 is, is fightable, so... These spells landing onto Ooh. the Skarner are just really tickling at this point. The full MR build with the, the chem tank, the Negatron full. Yeah, it's not a great position. He's under three magic resist, and Void Staffs are nowhere in sight. So he's just laughing all off his poke off. And she's in the main the bot tower. Yeah, yep. crowning minions in to all sides of the base. Make How do you see a flash ult? Ult? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Alright, Ben wanted to see individual gold. And there's the Silas Malphite ult, engaging the fight. Oh, good Zanyas. Oh, but there's a well back. back. And look at this tower dive. It oh, looks like Shurima is actually doing quite alright this fight. One for nothing. As well, earlier it does back out. Ult came out slightly too late. Could it did. It was activated after you're running away, right? You want it mm -hmm. when you're under tower sieging. Yeah, you're going to want to pop it early. Because it does take its time. And well, it wasn't the target. They needed to die. Nothing with this huge 700 gold shutdown bounty. It's still, it's still one for nothing. You gotta take. But also, Urgot was not really in that fight. He showed up after mm. and and wasn't able to do as much as he has been doing in the previous fight. So yeah. looking at it's the a gold bit of charity, differential, but nothing that screams hope. It's pretty even across the board, except for top lane where. Fudgecat has an 8,000 gold lead over the Malphite. It is. There is an 8,000 gold lead in the top lane and a 10,000 gold across the team, so... Yep. That map but is there, and, but... There's like a 2,000 gold lane in mid, but everything else is pretty even. Yep. I'm going to AD support. They all are actually even in gold. Mm -hmm. Interesting to note, but... The power of these solo laners is just pretty overwhelming in the fights. And as the Chemtech soul is looking to be taken, maybe Lux oh, can feel it. He actually... Oh, Boost it. Source gets a smite. Can't flash out of the pit, but with yeah, the denial of the chemical oh. can go on a little longer. But unfortunately, it is 45 for the next 30 seconds, and uh, yeah, so it's gonna look to, to I see think the I think they won't lose, lose. they'll be fine. Oh, fine is a strong word, um, they won't lose. <laughs> there Oh, and engage oh. actually on the fudge cow under the turret. Out the flash out, and he's actually oh, going to get shut down. down by Sandman. The fight ensues, but yeah, he immediately dies. I think Pui getting engaged on is going to fall. So actually, while the god did die, the team did carry the fight in his honor and three for one hanging out on the side of Hollywood as they look to take a second engine. Well, like I said. They haven't lost. Oh, Boos just spell shielded Skarner ult. I just want to point that out there. Yeah? He just spell shielded right. Skarner ult. I'm pretty sure. That's, that, that's when you hit at them with the question mark. That's yes. why I emote a question mark all the time. He could go in on the Silas if he gets vision. Ah. He could. I, I think that's bait. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, he's I done this a couple you times never know now. Shenanigans a man can pull. So. As we see. Two and hits down. Baron's going to come up in uh, about negative time. It's up. And it looks like it'll be the hot objective on the map. That every cool young teen wants to get their hands on. Urgot building his last yeah, item. The jungle's gonna find each other. Oh no, that's a dead. Much burnt and ooh. Oh, Silas is in right on the Lux. Nocturne is soon to follow by the Urgot. And yeah, this might be the final time that Shreema gets to, or Freljord rather, gets to run them down and collect all the gold they want without really having to think twice. You might just see another 5 for 0 here. Turtle dropping low, but not gonna fall on you. That should be the game. game one. As Twery looks to secure the ace, waiting for the wave to come. Terracult dropped to deny the turret aggro. Aerofrost landing. Oh, they oh, have a chance to the come back. Adding the KDA, but as the turrets fall, 
this and resulted in the back of the team. Game over is right, and that's game one for Freljord. Yep, pretty commanding lead. They started strong, they kept that lead, and then they uh, they got a pentacle on the way, you know? Indeed, off the bucket, two pretty strong ganks from Twary before even the six, helping out the two solo lanes. And yeah, the lead and top just snowballed out of control. TP bot got a pentacle at 14 minutes. And the rest was just a formality. Yeah, surprising enough, Silas did the most damage this game. Yeah. 23,000. Look at that. It's huge. The ever the server Ergot, song yeah, is it's actually comparable. I mean, Silas. Yeah, you would think that Urgot did a lot more damage. Especially fighting but, uh, into the Malphite. Yeah, less than actually the Lux in the Cinder. So yep. interesting there that the damage charts were actually pretty uh, comparable on both sides, really, if you look at it. But the results of all the fights were not. Well, I mean, the thing with this Garner damage is that you don't. He, he went straight tank. So you didn't yeah. expect him uh, to get yeah. a lot of damage. But on the other team, you don't have a tank jungler. No, so you. Yep. And so, well, what's got to go different for game two for Shrima? Well, I think Shrima definitely needs to figure out a way of dressing top lane. Just kind of figuring yeah. out what to do until, like, they kind of bend out Colonel Combo's fudge pool, and uh, Colonel Combo's top pool, and then Fudge Cow just kind of came in with his. So you're going to mm. have to try to, like, find a way of getting around the top lane matchup. Yeah. Not knowing who you're playing That's into. Definitely true, and, um, looks like the sides are going to change, so maybe it looks like a an R5 top could be the answer. Let's not get the worst situation um curious if they switch up roles i know their top laner the malphite king dan is usually a support main so they might just put him back on support mm -hmm. yeah that's definitely another angle that could happen how come uh then he was playing top lane in the first place i know like a couple games ago they swapped to uh him because he plays a little bit of scion top so they put him on scion mm -hmm. top and he did really well so i think partly it was they want to work that way and also lone wolf they usually like ban out king dante's support pool so that's kind of why they swap a little bit but well king dante also plays yumi and that's not something i've seen him play recently and i'm looking at the the series they played in the regular season and it went to three games and king dante was on support that whole time so i mean i think they just stick to that and have it work. He played Yumi all three of those games. Yeah. I think another thing that Cam is bringing up in chat is, you know, Sharima did the thing where they tried to, like, ban out somebody's pool. In this case, it was Tueri, so they, like, took the Nocturne, but they just played, like, a dive comp into, like, a triple tank comp and Taric, which is, like, even if the fights play out, like, perfect for you, it's not that great for the dive team. So maybe you don't mm -hmm. just look to play something just to take out the other team's pool instead of play something you're more comfortable with, kind of. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a draft. There's a new draft link. Alright. New draft link is up. Oh, yeah. I'm hopped in. So we'll see what changes. Uh, I think if Shreema wants to win, they just draft the Chemtech champions. You know, Mumu, Orin, Seraphine. Can't hurt. Can't all hurt three of them. Just all three of them, the first three picks. And then we may as well just go to game three. Yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing a close series here. It all starts in the draft, indeed, where Trindamir and Karkas are banned out once again. Oh, there's the Karthus ban again. Yeah. Now Tueri only died like once. So. Well, not again. You gotta wonder. Maybe they're not gonna switch up their bans at all on either side. Well, the last time Shruma first banned Misfortune, and now they're just not first banning Misfortune. So. It is true. Maybe they'll want to replace it with an Urgot. You have to wonder. I mean, the Sivir 
felt like it was more effective than a misfortune would have been in that game. Just with the allowance of the on the hunt. But of course you can't know what the enemy is going to draft necessarily. Yep. Oh, that hits down. It looks like the Skarner is actually going to... What? So I guess I'm just believe... banning a Tuary. It's uh, a... I hate that. I know, I hate it too. Yeah, a champion's pr I mean, pretty counterable, but maybe maybe searching Morgana in the champion select bar is too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the Vex is going to be banned out. Alright, well this Ivern has to be an Evelyn right. ban, and then they just give Tuary Nocturne, I guess? And then they go to tank comp themselves with a Moomoo. Yes. Well, you know who's yeah, a tank? Looks a like... Moomoo? Silas is going to be the ban, so yeah. Tuary going to get the Nocturne. He can go up. Um, maybe he ego can go that one. Yeah, you never know. Evelyn's open, so maybe they want to well, wait a bit. Nope, take... No, they're not. They don't have to first pick anything. I just think Frolly could just first pick Misfortune and then take an Evelyn later. Yeah, if they're happy playing either the jungler. I don't mind the Nocturne. Yeah, uh, Shirima goes for straight tank, MF and Nocturne. Like, what are they going to do? Also, I'm just saying, Colonel Combo plays literally anything. So, I mean, what if they go Nocturne and Evelyn? Yeah. There is the oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Let's see the orange. I don't know if King Dante plays orange, so. I don't know. I mean, I mean I'll also accept also... Maokai instead of Orn. That's also a Chemtech champion. Lone Wolf will also play anything. Oh, well, there's the Lone Wolf Swain. That could be in any lane. They're doing it. They're doing the tank comp we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there is Swain. Is Swain a Chemtech champion? Swain is a Bone Wolf champion, and any Bone Wolf champion is a good champion in my eyes. <laughs> oh, there's the Taric. Oh man. Is this an MF? Nah, I think MF is significantly worse if you're not gonna play it with something like a Maokai or a Mumu, but it still could be good. The Sivir again? <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. But. I'm looking pretty similar for Feliord. A different jungler running at you so far, but the bot lane will be the same. Just pick the AD carry here, in my opinion. Bane. Ooh. Fun. I like it. Pretty good matchup into sewer. And you have to imagine Tarek's not going to... Do we usually see the Amumu in the jungle or in the Chemtech regions? Usually it's in the jungle. It's probably boost yeah. in the jungle. And I think what but they're going to do is Turtle wait to play. flex top support until our 5 and just pick mid here. Ah, mid. The Yone. Ooh, Yone. I guess combo right, would be not one. Like... Oh wait, I need to end the prediction for the first one. Alright, the Ari ban. Oh, oh here and there got banned. Ban. Not gonna run that one back. Alright, Ari, Syndra, Vex gone. I know Sav also plays Anivia. We could just see Anivia here. Sav's Kiana is legendary. This is the best of three. Hell yeah. Yeah, but I imagine this just is going to be uh, an Ivia. It could be a soul maybe. Oh, Cho'Gath. That's a turtle top laner. Cho'Gath? Uh, King Dante has been spamming Cho'Gath games. Okay. So we'll see if he has the power of Kel in him. Alright, is this where we see the, uh, the Jax? The Victor. Oh, this could be a Fiora game, maybe. I want the Jax. Or even better, the Camille, but he doesn't really play Camille. 
the Cassante. Let's see the Cassante. Mm. Oh, there's the Fiora. Yeah, Fiora gonna come out not banned. Great matchup into Cho'Gath. Yep. So this is already pretty scary because. Now they have played Cho'Gath support, so you never know. They could put Swain <laughs> top. You definitely could do that, but and if these are the two the same two players playing that lane, Fiora and Cho'Gath, I definitely have some fears. Could also put the Nico. Nico. In. Oh. All right, we'll see if Ralia can count the minions. Definitely something I can go missed. I'll have to see. So we did get a Nocturne Nico game, just maybe not the same way you wanted it to be. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Actually, yesterday in our game, when they played Nocturne, they Nocturne ulted, and we immediately Nico ulted almost every time, and it just always hit the Nocturne. So, maybe we'll see mm -hmm. that again here. But, I'm curious to see if they put the Cho'Gath Tomper mid, or support, I guess. You gotta be careful putting it into the Fiora, that's for sure. I feel like Nico wouldn't be that bad into Fiora. No, I'm picking the Cho'Gath when the, when the Fiora's open. It's definitely... When they banned it last time, too. Especially hope they when have a you could have just it. picked the Nico and then seeing if they yeah pick so they uh, Fiora. Pick the lane too. Cause I don't necessarily think they blind Fiora. Absolutely. Interesting. But yeah, Sherman's playing quad AP again. Alright, I have the prediction up. For game two, if Froyer closes it out, Sharima is eliminated, and it's Froyer plus an Isles in the final. Yes. Now, here's the thing. I think Froyer comes better, but Sharima has more Chemtech champions. Interesting. At one. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I think the Nocturne theoretically should be useless. Unless you get the Terra Gold before you ult in, I suppose. I, I, their team fight's just not that great. You just want to have your foot pushing and clear ways to serve your victor. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, definitely what shines out with this comp is like you got, you got wave clear and then you got Fioris. You're going to be able to protect yourself against the outnumbered sieges if they happen. Definitely your Victor and your Fiora can stay in the side lanes. You've got enough damage to get your picks. So the main issue I see with split pushing is that split pushing isn't actually that easy to execute. Your team needs to be on the same page as the split pusher. But, you know, yep. a little bit of a uh, back and forth and making sure you're getting objective or not taking fights when you shouldn't be. And Shreema needs to be able to uh, exploit that if they can get a good pick with one of their champions, which I think Nico would be great at if they're able to not count the minions. Holy cow, who is predicting these games? 52,000 channel points on Freljord. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Milton bet on the other team just because the odds were so good. <laughs> Damn, I don't think I can bet. Hold well, on, I gotta bet now. I gotta even up the odds here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't bet. The submission's closed. Two minutes one? Uh, uh, it's either two minutes or five minutes. Yeah, if you I gotta do five, five minutes. minutes. Five I minutes. Don't have time. It, it, go, it flows over into the first two minutes of the game. Holy. Ah, uh, okay. 52,000, 24,000 was combo voting on his own team. There was only four voters for Freljord at 52,000 points. <laughs> I'm just saying, if 
if Milton throws this game, he does get five times the amount of points he put in. How much did he put in? I can't, less than 4,000 because Lawful Dog was the highest bidder with 4,000 on Shrima. You think he'll, he'll do it for 20,000? How much does he care about a new role? That's true. This might be the most points spent in a bet, I think. I've never seen it close to this high. I think there were uh, there was a game a booth batch or two ago where uh, people on both teams bet everything they had. Holy! All right, never mind. Ben City won ninety five. Bandel City versus I can't. He had a hundred twenty k. All right, which is not the games I watched then. But. Combo put more points than our highest reward on this bid. That is insane. All in. Back to the draft, though. Freljord does have two spell shields. Plus VR W. So they could time the Amumu ult well and kind of negate his whole purpose. I mean, I think it's just more important that Terra gets the ult off in time. Yep. Or I want to see if they can uh, block the Cho'Gath ult. I think that works. I don't know how it works, though. Yeah, you can you can block with both shields. Oh, let's talk about Terry Gold, which I think you still block it because no, you you're still not block it. untargetable here, you're just invulnerable. <clears throat> I want to see Shreem invade. Just yep. fuck it. Fwain E into uh, Shogath Q. Nico, whatever the fuck ability root. Easy. Also, if you just get stomped like that, you gotta go in thinking, let's try to get the early coin flip lead level one. Yep, and that's why I didn't have the vote last two minutes into the game. <laughs> and that's why <laughs> Blessed Isles invaded both game two and three against Zon. We're just like, <laughs> oh, we're the worst team, gotta invade. But yeah, thinking an early kill in Vayne or even Nico, I think it's pretty big. Alright, we got five seconds left until this thing starts on to go. Oh. oh, let me fix the sides. It's just a black screen for you guys, too? Yep. Okay, good. Uh, so far, indeed, it is. Oh, okay. They're loading. Everyone in the game at their skin. Uh, left side was Freljord. Doesn't matter. I don't know. It's not working here. I want to see Nocturne invade. So um, it is King oh. Dan top. Yep. Unless he goes mid, I guess. <clears throat> oh, Amumu's still in base. He ruined the invade. It oh, doesn't seem no. like they're invading, they're five pointing. Uh, Vayne is going top? <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh. I was really confused about that. Oh, 
The noodle magic, it is pizza time. Oh, yeah. oh early ward. Some damage. Ooh, he didn't he didn't ping it. I want to turn up the sound. Is that Cole versus Dorn Spice starting the bot lane? Oh, wait, he did. He did ping it. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, make sure you adjust the scoreboard. Oh, yep. Oh, Moo Moo top lane. <laughs> I've played it. You can play it if you want, I guess. Yep, especially with Smite, it helps you secure the cannon. That's true. Good evening, casters. Good evening. Hello. Oh, King Poo is taking so much damage. Oh, it's, he oh. got the heal though. Oh, one. the kill for Ooh, Vayne. Kill. But he's taking oh, so right much minion it. damage. Kill's gonna come right back. But, you know, works, right? Yeah. Unless you're pushing in, in which case... You know, so King Pui recognized there was a call by again and said you're not getting minions. <laughs> Indeed, but the wave coming back to Noodle is actually really nice. Yeah. Not even crashing, so... I don't know if one will want to This is actually not great right, for Pui. Oh no, you clear it. You... Yeah, well... Hold... Hard to freeze yeah. at level one. Oh, so, the pull? Yeah, the pull is there. Level three to level one, but. I'm gonna collect these minions up. Or what are you carry now? You got them. Then. Are Mumu clearing fast to the Nocturne right now? Yeah. As to be expected, so we'll see how this bot lane shapes up with the. AD so far behind their supports. Oh no, you can't be Ooh, getting hit nice. by that mechanical. You are level two. Pui's so you still level one. Yeah. 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 That, 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 that giant wave that crash. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Not even barely hitting level two actually. Okay. All right, we got the level three knocked. Oh. oh, man, oh. Flash. Huge flash stun. Oh, and. You gotta feel bad for poor Pui here. Good flash Ooh. out. But a brawl is going up in the jungle here, and actually, Benjamin's gonna take down the aura. Oh, it is cool. Yeah. It's gonna come up, yeah. It's a lot of damage. Just on the victor. Might not have the damage to take the kill, but. Yeah, I think Combo is trying to invade a Moo Moo, but yep. their team rotated. Uh, it's a good flash for the Moo Moo, too. Alright, but this Cho'Gath needs to go up and get his wave. No, yeah, dude. Before it crashes. Alright, Bane has two CS. It's not looking great. That uh, level one fight, unfortunately, did not go in their favor. You get first strike gold off the clone? Yeah, yeah. You, get, you get Dark Harvest, everything. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> in in ARAM, I always go for the Dark Harvest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, so nice. <laughs> Gotta last hit those Wukong clones. I'll burst and I don't care, but... Ooh. Okada just walking into yeah. the lane. <laughs> Getting the flash Ooh. from Swain. Yeah, that ward's not quite in the man. bush either. He wasn't even spotted. Oh wait, we see Nico coming down. Is she gonna become a minion? Ah, oh, no, she's going back to mid lane. No. <laughs> oh, not level six yet. No, it still could be good early though. The I don't know if you're giving up waves for it, but it would have been funny. <laughs> hey, I mean, if you give it more waves, you're just joining your oh, AD carry and top laner right now, right? Oh, no banish house. This game's pretty, 
pretty even in my other game actually compared to last game. Two for two. Barely a gold lead. That's actually the opposite way in the bot lane this time. Noodle Magic actually taking a pretty good over lead over QE. Oh, Nocturne and Moomoo are gonna meet each other on these chickens. Indeed they are. Let's do it. Oh! Inspires. Uh oh. Manage us over the wall. This is not, not gonna get them, though. winning for a Moomoo. And this is a winning nope. fight for Nocturne. No flash on the Moomoo. And. Yeah, he's just gonna take this. Abandonment not able to rotate. Yeah, unfortunate Vandermint. I guess a nice play by Twary and Oop. Yeah, well, that's how you beat a Moomoo. Just get a. Yep, you beat. Yeah, and we see Fior proxying. Moomoo yeah. coming back top. Yeah, fine. I kind of think Fior and Nocturne still wins that. I kind of think uh, they kill should oh. be pretty good. Especially with the Chogath so low on mana. Um, Chogath might gonna be able to get an ult off, though. Oh, the back is uh -oh, uh -oh. The spell shield. There's one. Oh, there's a double kill. And yeah, Repost not gonna. Ooh, ooh. There anything. we go. And the Rupture's gonna take a kill. Wow. So actually, for all your or Shurima, why not big in that 2v2? I'm rushing Demonic. Yeah, it's a Demonic for a Moomoo. Yeah, you can Operation Demonic oh. Embrace. This may not be this good. This is an even game on our hands. Alright, Tuary was a little over ambitious, just like Booze is now, but. <laughs> yeah, you got the chickens, gonna, you got the kill. kill. You should be good to just back. Is there a way that XP shows on their portraits, or is there not? Uh, not on the portraits, unfortunately. You have to probably, like, have them selected. Nocturne 6? Nocturne 6? Yep, the alarm bells are ringing. Nocturne is level 6. And there's no flash on the swing. But you have to wonder who's keeping track of flashes this game. Mm -hmm. If anyone. I think maybe Boo the still mobile needs both these. Yeah. Oh, Lono misses the E, Turtle misses his stun. One, where are we at at the strike count? Oh, <laughs> listen. I couldn't keep track of all the strikes. Uh oh. Oh, the root on the Sivir. Oh, oh going back oh, in nothing. on the vein, oh, but not really. Going on the vein, but gonna turn on the Swain as. And Swain is ulting. Out. He's ulting, he's dealing damage, but it's not enough up. to get a return kill. And so Moo Moo's here, to... level 5, is not not really yeah. able to do yeah. anything. Kind of just Either showing him that. Or an XP caster. <laughs> he says XP bar is filled. <laughs> oh, the stun. Something's happening. They're gonna shut this and go to dragon. It looks dragon. Like. But they don't have mid. Uh, Swain is also up. They waited way too long. Yep. And a movement can be sick. Oh, by this the time is a kill on Victor. Yep. It's a big yeah, Q. Six. Hopefully, they uh -oh. yeah, they're backing off. Yep. That's, that's a great play. Well, Booze has alt now. Uh oh. That's the Tarek. Tarek's gonna. Ooh. Oh, the good no, Q? Oh, they Doesn't should matter. still be able to get <laughs> the Eric, yeah. yeah. Ah, that's a big cooldown, though. Uh, it's like another two minutes till it's back up. Yeah. Uh, Mumu also did not use the ult. No. Big. But it doesn't look like Bro, you're gonna contest. Now you can save it to do the wolves faster. True. All right, first strike into uh, stream of this game. I also kind of want to see this Shogun just alt cannon minions, like on spawn yeah. like that. I don't think. Yeah. It's Probably gonna, gonna be cool. Like like Looks like he is. I mean, three back far already. So. Nice. Oh, Ooh, not no, gonna ult on the Amumu. Amumu does have alt. Oh, flash is oh, out. The double oh, oh. But Nico turns the tide. Not enough though. So Looks like. I think they probably yeah, everyone's getting out safely. And Nico had more mana. Just kind of ran out. Yeah, it happens. 
Vayne's catching up in CS too now. Yeah, Nico's going rocket belt this game. Lone it's Wolf is fighting. Stun onto Swain. Oh, isn't that a good Wait, you don't want that. And Flash just... in. Wait. Oh, Try catch. Wait. Noodle. Pui hey? pops the ult, runs in. Ah, oh, they're not okay. It's Yeah, there you go. Turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. They Tarek stun. They should just get the kill like right back. Get... Oh, the boomerang gets it. Very nice. Looking now on the Swain. I no stun. Might get a couple seconds behind again, Luke. Wow, a great turnaround from the side of failure. Yep. That was a bit ambitious from the Swain. Indeed, it was. Yeah, getting caught and then turn flashing yeah. immediately. Yeah, turning old on, on. And, was almost there. and then having no mana to really do yeah. much else. Yep. Indeed, and Sivir was just able to walk out with the moving speed from the ult. Yeah, especially when the Swain only has Honestly, a giant. Honestly, there's a dive angle cool. here. I don't know if they're gonna look Whoa. for it. They actually are. Well, the stun misses, so they're. No that should be a kill on the Tarek. Yep. Yeah, Tarek's actually the just gonna die in response. Popsy exhaust, but the lethal tempo kind of makes up for him, you know. Oh, that's nice. Give it to Swain. Oh. It was uh, it, no, that's, that's, that's a strike. Impressive. That's a strike. You can't give it to Bone Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I am impressed. This Cho'Gath is holding his own top. Into a few. I mean, rounds. he held his own in game one as well, right? He just was down CS. Wow. Well, I mean, he was. Because Urga only had one kill. kill. Urga only had. I think oh, it's a little fair. different when you're playing into a Fiora than when you're playing into an Urgot. <laughs> Cam said, Bert's favorite hobby is being out of mana. We need the <laughs> tier Swain. Uh, there's a lot of refillable potions this game. We got two in the bot lane for for, uh, for Shreema and one in mid lane for Fogger. That's the hundred. Who won game one? I missed game one. Fogger. Fogger, okay. There was a pentakill from the Urgot top lane. Oh! In the mid lane. Big. He went from 1 0 to 6 0. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Twerry's here, and I don't think they know. They don't know. Oh, but wait, Booze is there. Booze knows. Oh, no, wait, wait, here. Wait, he wait, can see. Whoa! <laughs> no! Oh no! It's bedtime in the UK. The wombo combo. We had a teleport coming in from the Fiora, but it's not looking great. Nope. Yeah, Noodle doesn't have flashes that. away. This could be an ace for Shreema. Oh, no, nah, they're not. I gonna think probably is fine. <laughs> If Cho'Gath runs into tower. <laughs> that would be the ace. <laughs> well, Cho'Gath is getting... And mind control. Yeah, Momo uh, with the BM in chat. Did you not see me put the pink? Yeah, idiot. Don't you have eyes? That's what he said. <laughs> that was a translation. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, so Grant, he was not sitting on a pink board the whole time, but he was sitting on that pink board for a good five seconds. Yeah, uh, both teams just decided to show up bot lane and duke it out, you know? Oh, are they gonna fight uh -oh. the Amumu? I mean, well, this is a good fight the rift. For... Amumu needs to like get off this blue, I think. No, you gotta no, finish okay, they're not camp. diving. <laughs> no Tarek ult, so... Uh, Colonel Combo, the top laner, is in the bot now. Ready for the dragon. No TP on Fudge Cow, but there is a TP for Cho'Gath. If they do want to try to fight here. Cho'Gath also backing. Cho'Gath with the hard steel big. Yeah. Oh. oh, Combo. Oh, we got... Coming in, yeah. Can't really react to that. This is not a fight you want. Victor is in no way, shape, or form able to rotate. One hard steel stack. Very... Two hard Two. steel stacks. Earth Come on, fall. show me three. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow, Relier is just completely wow, disjointed. Double kill fight. for a Mumu. Oh, yeah. The bot lane deficit yeah. has been erased. 
Yes. This game was really, really even for the first around 10 minutes, but now Sheesh. looks like all big wins on the side of Shrine. Was that miscommunication from Froyer? Did they not realize Victor they didn't have teleport? Did Victor not tell them? Or did they just know all of that and proceed to do it anyway? Hard to know, but this one's going to be a lot tougher to win. Yes. As the snowballing starting to happen, and wow. Who's 4, 1, and 7 on 417404 for Sav. Yep, the top half of the map looking pretty good. And bottom half is definitely looking much better than where a few minutes ago. Yeah. I hope we can Goldie, draw, though. though. Maybe not as strong as you expect. Only about 3,000, which it's not small. But for a 9 kill difference, yeah. This is far, far from over. Mm -hmm. No summon area on Sivir. That's okay. true, no summon area. Wait, Swain a little zealous, overzealous here? Nah, they, oh. I don't think they kill. Turret's not low enough. Uh, yeah, it's yet. Uh, Terra has ult. I think they get tower, they can't defend. Oh. Yeah. Swain alts has no mana. Yep. Pops to defend they the turret. Flash? Go back yeah, in. Flashes, old... Turn on the beam. Yep. Really brawl. Don't know. Attacking through the Terracle. Maybe just start to leave the tempo. Going on to Sivir. Finding the first. Probably yeah, but it was also Sivir decided to turn after Terracle was already going away. Yeah. Yep. I'm just going to need to run at that point with the vein right. chasing you down. But... Both the junglers are sitting in bushes on the top. This is the gameplay we Indeed need they to are. see. I can see what might happen oh, here. Oh, uh, Umu's going in. Heart still stack. Here, starting to fight. The silence and the bandage shots, great setup. Oh, big Chunk alt and then is, double wow, ult. Fair. That is a snack. Yep, well executed. All right, now Seven we have to see Cho'gath Cho stack count. Seven. Seven. Spoiler. Pretty good. 840 yep. bonus health. He's getting not pretty bad. large. Finally got the champion count, so. All six on the minions already, but I won't have it for the Rift Herald, unfortunately. Oh man, Lawful Dunk uh -oh. is looking good for his channel points. 20,000, right? Over, it was like 5 point something. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh the he missed the, the, the fight, bounty. and he still got it. Yeah. I'm gonna need a ping check on Booze and uh, Twery after this game. Hashtag worth? <laughs> <laughs> No push to be had in this mid lane. Victor just clear the wave. And the second objective bounty count. Yeah. If they have a hero, they can brother. see Chiron. I don't know if they can see Chiron on red side. Alright. Worth noting, this is actually looking pretty good for Freljord. Five bounties on Trima's side. Objective bounties up, and they're only down 2k gold. Riot. Yeah. Big. That's pretty true. Gold lead. It's also, not you were hard, just hard. about to find some there, so nothing had to happen in the lane before this matters anymore. Yep. <laughs> yep. That is definitely true. Season 14 soon. The matchup uh, among the top laners is not really cool. <laughs> no more League of Items. That cloth armor was probably, you know, uh, autopilot by and then realized, holy shit, Ooh, I can only want to attack them and be in the other team. I mean, you could just be building Death Dance or something, right? Yeah, but doesn't seem terrible. You you want the longsword rather than the cloth hammer at that point. Maybe back to three hundred and forty gold. You never know. <laughs> this is just gold efficiency. This Cho'Gath True. does auto attack with AD. Like he's saving like one damage each auto. One damage each auto. Yeah. Well, the hurt still proc is pretty big. And if you're walking up towards the objective bounty on this tier two, no one's actually by to stop. She's not gonna push that fast. Uh, I mean, Nika had teleport, so she's the only one that currently has it up. Yeah, might need to teleport top to save it. I'll I don't say. know if it's 
do it so. It is still bothering me. It's a 1k gold lead in these objective bounties. And bounties on every champion. Oh yeah, it's definitely strange because maybe maybe the XP... After this, this turret, is, the gold lead is, is the literally in even. action right here, though. Not to no top, yep. Oh. Good flash. Yeah. That should be a kill. Flash goes out, pops the heal. Oh, that's Chase a continues. strong ass. Uh, Vayne might get a kill here, though. And, yep. The minions, oh! yep. Oh, not But this is what I was talking about. Uh, the Fiora's blip push is about to get an inhibitor tower. They are literally not. up in gold. Still with the objective bounties and the shutdowns. Well, at least the objective bounties is going away, but... Oh, yeah, yeah like, Rally, you're kind of in the lead here. Yeah, this game still was close despite the massive difference in kills. I mean, we can see the, the CS numbers are a large contributor um, to this. Plates as well. Shutdowns, what have you. And we've definitely got a fighter in our hands, but the, the three dragons. Alright, Nico is a minion. We will see if they count the minions. Yeah. We got a caster minion marching down mid lane. Right, we don't need to see booze. We need to see if this minion action. Yeah. Looks like, yep, Christo might spot it. Yep, the pings are on. Yep. There we go. Four caster minions. Wait, she doesn't show up as a champion when she's a minion in spectator mode? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. You don't gotta confuse me too. <laughs> well. Did you count the minions? No, I was looking for the Nico icon and I'm like, where the what lane? <laughs> Alright, uh Nico's still the only one with teleport. You are just side splitting. Side laning, rather. Dragon right, well, Fiora still has that cloth armor building into nothing. Oh, that's a pickaxe. Could be that stand. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. It's probably just going straight to Maul, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Fiora is definitely a bit overextended here, but it's only Swain that's going up. And yeah. Victor, well, yeah, Victor is pushing bot too. Victor doing the same not yeah, that's what this team does. They got the solo laners on the side lanes. Pushing them out and Fiora going for the Maw second. And per the cloth armor third, so You gotta wonder if oh. the Hydra's even gonna be built this game. I did not notice before, very important, nine stack dark seal for the Swain. Oh, that's pretty big. Not a VP. Shogath got the 8th stack. It's pretty nice. You gotta love bird building. Daxiel on every support. <laughs> Crazy. There's 1 in 4. Fiora is up uh, around 2,000 gold on this 205. <laughs> Alright, it looks like Shrima did group to push mid. Uh, Vayne is backing. Fiora can be able to push out this tower. Yeah, Shreema is kind of putting their solo laners and ADC in mid lane together, and they're just kind of bleeding XP. You mean Freljord? No, Shreema's doing that. Freljord's up on XP. No, no but... The flash from Sev. The AD carry is probably. Well, no, the AD carry has been mid before, is kind of what I'm saying. Like, they're putting Chogath in the mid lane with Nico, and then you're usually... Right. You're always gonna in trouble. Hit down by the vein a bit. I'm not gonna commit to the chase though. <laughs> it looks like Fiora can't quite 1v1 Bane just yet because Bane can uh, kite her currently. Oh! oh. Flame Ooh. going Ooh, in hard 1v3. No the wolf is behind. alone. The exhaust too? Indeed right now. Is going all in. Yeah, the team is uh -oh. here to follow up. And where he cannot wow. 
Oh! Where is just left alone by his teammates to die. That's ridiculous. And Fury oh. even teleporting in. Oh! Oh! Oh, big miss in the deagle Oh, the kill's gonna land in the heels. Okay, that's pretty big. The Terracle's gonna come oh, in. Oh, so. the Terracle? Close fight. Oh, three the Vayne's pumping out damage, though. Who is fighting this Fiora? Two success. Vayne autos. Yeah, the exhaust. Noodle falling to Lone Wolf. Wow. The Swain that started this all is gonna... I think that gives them soul, too, off of this. Stay on top. Yeah. Yeah, big team fight went mountain soul, too. Pretty big. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think Swain with Rai life. All uh, right, Swain has ten stacks. Back. That's what's important here. Yeah. All right, you know what's ten. coming next. We're skipping oh, you know it. We're going veggie eyes. Movement speed buff is huge. Yep. You have to wonder if Twerry maybe could have gotten some scattered. I wonder if there was an escape with the alt if he ulted back into his team. Yeah. yeah, where the uh, Jory's slot burning. Any oh, steal here? No. The big oh. flash? Oh, oh a little no. bit late. That's that EU ping. And it's that, definitely going to get run down by Vayne. Not really anything that Ah, uh, this Vayne is huge. How much? Yeah. She's that's sitting thing, at yeah, 1800 gold now. right now. But the gold, kind of look, the gold is still the same across these two teams. Damn, Bert really just flashed into three of them and said, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's how that fight started. <laughs> no. Oh, Ooh. if you're getting caught out, this looks like yeah. it's gonna be a barrier. Oh, gonna be a bad spot. Definitely, it's gonna have to fall here. Kept Doing a little bit of damage first. Oh, oh the bandage on the crystal to fall no Yeah. Still. That's big. You're in the bot lane. He's maybe. About to munch the yeah, baron. that's that spells Baron for uh for for Sharima for sure. Now, lots of like. The gold difference is in this top lane, but Cho'Gath does have about a thousand extra health. Yeah, the Cho'Gath's not doing it. too badly for himself at all. Um, Swain and Nico rotate the bot lane. Oh, uh, Derek should die here. Yeah. Derek's gonna look all his Derek kind of just showing face where face was not me. Twerry oh. is oh, not gonna get their time for a steal. Oh. A little bit late to the Baron, just like after the dragon. Oh, Fiora, a little tragic Ooh. Ooh. Fiora picking up a kill on Burt in the 1v3, and those Dark Seal stacks are out the window. That's There's the 1v2, that was just Nika close. <laughs> <laughs> 1v... Look, I glanced and I glanced away. <laughs> How do you know there wasn't a second Nika that was a minion there the whole time? <laughs> oh, the Vayne's uh -oh. gonna chase her down. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Tumbling in. Oh. And I can find it. And well, the Baron's picked up, but that's about all the lead. The tangible lead that uh Frey or, or Shirima have on this right. side right now. Shirima back so, in the gold lead. That's what's important. If you're here. Shirima, how are you looking to split your Baron? Where are you sending people? Well all five it's hard to match yeah, one of the I think with the Baron buff, you kind of like, like a, either you can dock it down mid or you can like 4 1, but. Yeah. There's the wave clear on Frawlyord so good, it's kind of tough to just brute force. It is, but thing. hopefully with the Baron resistances, I mean, yeah. you can kind of try to get around that little and look for like an engage. I think though, like if they hit. Using their numbers is a advantage a with the few on the side. Yeah, he could go in. Work for them. They're threatening right now. Yeah, with yeah, the tanking members. Yeah, no Victor Art. Yeah. Victor Art bottom. Yep. Victor Art bottom. Does not have teleport yet. But if yeah, they talk terror before his ult goes off. To get the wave, and yeah. Absolutely true. It's 4v5 right now. Teleport is now back up for Fiora, so... Yeah, she could come in and help, but uh... Next Baron wave is about to crash. No Victor R. Terragar's here and. Alright, there there's is. the Amumu. Engage. Yeah, you have to imagine the gonna happen and indeed it is. And the is already down. Three man Nico, that's huge. TP's coming in, but can it even save the fight? It's already... King Pooh is very Looking low. Looking on the Vayne. He's uh, still in this. Vayne's not low, but actually not gonna even. Jeez! Torius the fourth to fall. This actually could just be the. Game. That was a hard steel stack. Did you hear that? Wow, yes. hard steel stack claims. The clean aces there. Sheesh. What a successful dive. A was huge there. 
Thirty-two oh, I nine say. is the final score line, but only yeah, like a five. Wow, such a gold close, game. such a close game in terms of gold, You'd but not at all it. in terms of the kill line. And you know, you have to wonder if you were on the side of of Freljord, did you even realize the game was that close the entire time? Because mentally, it might not have felt like that. No, when you're yeah. down nine to seventeen. No, and I, I have to I have to wonder. I mean, I maybe you could see it a little bit. They they weren't making too many confident plays, but that Fiore was definitely keeping them in the game. They were fighting back in the fights. And... All I'm gonna say is we gotta open an investigation to Fudge Cow betting on him against his team yeah. that game. <laughs> He's just min maxing. He's gonna come back and carry it. Split the diff. You win or you win win. I would bet against my team. All right. I just want to say one Chemtech champion to zero Chemtech champions and they win the game. That's all I'm going <laughs> to say. If you're both teams, just draft a Moo Moo Seraphine Orn. Is that what you're doing in final? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the orn. Go, go look at our right. matches and you can see we pick a moo moo surfing orn. <laughs> it's not like hidden knowledge. Hidden knowledge. Sixty four point six thousand points goes to Lawful Dog and five others. Crazy. All right, Ben, we need to know how many total points you have now after this game. Crazy. I'm sitting at a measly 29k. I'm sitting at 44 because somebody made the uh, timer only two minutes and I can vote. Well, be better. That's what I tell my ARAM teammates. That's what I'm telling you. Fucking be better. So, side selection goes to Freljord. I would imagine they pick red side. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Although, they could pick blue side and steal the Amumu away. Get the Chemtech champion. I did the good. But the Chemtech champions did come up a pretty big loss game. I think James is like 4 0 on a Moomoo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's probably molding every single time. He's like, ah, I guess I gotta go on Moomoo again. I know against your team, he like kind of smurfed on the Amumu, and when they picked it, he DM'd me said, guess I'm on Mumu a duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wasn't really able to invade him in those games, so he just got to do the thing. Yeah, I'm just saying this first pick will show which team cares more about winning or not. True. First pick Nocturne again? So far, first pick Nocturne loses a game. That's what I'm saying. That's true. Also, I looked. Nocturne is like by far the most pick ban champion in Boost Bash this season. Now, these are stats from like week four or five, but Nocturne is sitting at like 75% pick ban, and the next highest was... In Kentech or no, all... both overall, and the next highest was around 40%. All right, I got to change my pick real quick. <laughs> All right. Mm. Which team is good? Which team is gooder? I'll just have uh, to see. I assume for you it is gooder. That's what I'm guessing, but... I'll just say, who's blue? All right. Colonel yep. Combo's team is the red side. That is Freljord.
Yeah, All I right. agree. First pick Nocturne is troll. Just draft pink, don't ban Nocturne, regardless. Come on. Easy. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm kinda curious what happens with the bans though. Just keep banning the cards. Like, are we banned. just gonna run them back the same bans again? Yeah, they just might. If they thought the swing was a problem, they could go with the lone wolf triple ban. The Trindamere Lux Swain? Yep. Uh, then they're gonna see the classic Burt. The classic Burt, yeah, as well. Please, we need it for the stream. Hi, uh, you gotta drop down, Luke, to Spectator. We can't get the last member oh, yeah. of the game in. Whoopsie. Sometimes I forget. All good. Why don't they just move themselves around me? <laughs> Alright, Ben highlights his message. Bert's gonna play Thresh and rush Dark Seal. That's base. Mm. Also, he's only going to be typing with highlight my message from now on with his 8 million points. All right, we'll draft yeah, start. Yeah, he's just burning money. True. All right, well, they're still banning the Karthus. There comes the Renata ban. They've been banning Trindamir first. So maybe they want to have this Trindamir in the top lane. Oh, that's uh, Silas, yeah. Karthus, Silas. Yeah, those are both bands last game. Alright, well, there's the Trindamir. Alright, so... Stream is walking... This exact same bands as last game. Just a he's with the right. side swap. Alright, this pick will decide... How much Shrima wants to win. It's going to be a Moo Moo. I swear if it's Nocturne. Oh wait, they give they gave Tuari Evelyn. All what right. is he picking Evelyn There's right now? Moomoo. First pick Evelyn. Yep, there it is. Well, we could see the Evelyn. It's not like a Moo Moo's going to invade that. Misfortune, Evelyn. Just give them their best champs. Oh! Freljord counters with the Chemtech champion of their own. Two Chemtech champions. All right, Freljord is winning this draft so far. I think the only way Shrima can come back from this is by picking the Orn. Or Nico. I think Nico's pretty good. All right, there's the Lux. No Swain, even though it was open. Indeed. Yeah, this is this is Chemtech if I ever seen it. Yeah. Uh, the ultimate would have to be a Moomoo jungle or on top, MF Seraphine bot lane, and mid lane. It could be Lux, it could be Nico. There's lots of things. Be like Ari, Annie. Ooh Lux Jinx. Yeah, that's a that's five out of five Chemtech for that's for sure. Oh no, Vagar. Vagar is pretty good chem tech champion. Yeah, Vagar is pretty chem tech. <laughs> Maybe like a Fizz, right? Wukong? I'd, All right. I'd count it. Wukong for Tuary. So they're trying to match the utility jungle with utility jungle. One has more utility, one has more damage. Actually debatable. Yeah, I think it's kind of debatable. They're, they're both, you know, yeah. kind of engagey. One's more dually than the other, but... Good Nico ban. 
all right, you know, Wukong clone E in with the Seraphine ult right behind him, blocking out the clone. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, yeah. All right, there's the Urgot ban. I want to see a Yasuo pick from the Lone Wolf here, even though they yes. already picked the Lux. The Yone ban. What I want to see, kind of, Enchanter with this Jinx put the Lux mid. Well, they could still do this. And then they would have to have what? You could put Lone Wolf top on the Yasuo. I'm just saying it's possible. Is it good? Don't know. It is possible. Oh, Yorick. All right. That is the Fudge Cow special after his Urgot. Yep. All right. Irelia. The Bert Irelia. Hey, Camille. Uh no, I all right. Well we'll see how the Chogath goes. Uh mid lane. What do we have left? Syndra's up, right? Syndra's up, Anivia's up. Kiana. A Soul. I wouldn't do A Soul, but <laughs> Yeah, Syndra it is. Alright. Cassidin? Wowza. Alright, that That's was an insta Cassidin pick, too. He was ready. Mm. I don't know I've, if I've ever seen Colonel Combo play Cassidin. This will be interesting. Uh, my team screened him a week or two ago, and he played Cassidin when Ren played Zygmid. Alright, well. And he did pretty well that. that. If you just. Insta pick the Cassidin, you have to be ready for that. Well, I, level was one through six, you're gonna be pretty fucking rough for him. He's gonna walk up, press Q, and then take the whole combo. <laughs> Oh, you can hear Archie. <laughs> yeah, he just ate at 8 p.m., so now it's his time to go out. And usually I'm the one to take him out, but, you know, I got more important things to do. Yes. All right. I'm just saying, though, according to traditional Chemtech champion theory that I have completely made up, Freljord has more Chemtech champions. Two to one. The so mission period, 30 seconds, right? We're good with that. 30 seconds? Yeah. You got 30 seconds. Go! All right, let's go. I made it five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to write your your uh, your PhD paper on Chemtech Theory? My Chemtech Theory? Yeah, you gotta only, present only it for the mod. The, only if I get the fifth win. I'll post. I'll post it if I get my fifth win. All right. I'm holding you to it. And then you gotta you gotta defend your thesis in front of the mod. Or if the mods don't let me play Chemtech again. If they're like, no, nah, we'll put you in Hextech, then I'll post it. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty easy. Just play champions you're good at. Don't play champions you're bad at. Stop trying to overthink your draft and pick other people's champions when you're not good at it. Like, that's how you win. That's all you gotta do. That's interesting coming from you. I remember a few games from when we were on a team together where you, you picked the champion you didn't have that much experience on. Yeah, and we lost. 
Mm, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, my first, my first season of Booze Bash, we were playing Surge. You were on the team one. Game five, I'm like, all right, I'll take Surge's mm. Nocturne. We lose that game because Nocturne was not as good as my other champs. I'm just saying. I don't think that was the reason we lost. I remember a certain uh, Rift Herald walking to our Nexus Towers. Yeah, and I remember... Personally. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying... Certain shot caller on our team... Aaron... <laughs> could not call the shots right there, you know? She was like, oh, it's okay. This this Rift Herald's only going to crash one time. Crashes three times. Sometimes I go to bed at night... And I see it. I see it barreling down on me in the top <laughs> lane. And I'm playing Fizz, who can't do anything to it. All right. We got 40 seconds until game three, the one that decides which team goes to the final. Yes. Get your predictions in. Make sure you predict the rail yard so that I can get my points. Yeah. Not as many points as last game. Seems like people are a bit scared. Oh, I, well, I guess there aren't as many points because Surge lost all his points when he bet that he went all in on fucking rail yard last game. Yeah, that was how uh, I right. did it too. Yeah. So we have submission closing in a minute, 30 seconds. This is it. There is a bet. All right, three minutes till we're in the game. Use channel points now. Use all of them, everyone. Get some stakes going, no, right? No, I got to go with a secret pick. I'm not just going with. I have to say, I think this game might come down to how far Yorick can get. In the side lanes, like how much pressure he can pull. He'll get somewhere, that's for sure. Like, they do have the Wombo combo. Wukong goes in, Seraphine alts through Wukong, MF alts. Pretty hard to beat that. Although, I don't oh. know if I've seen Turtle play Seraphine. Uh, what do you. The, I just bet it's at the top. Of stream shot, for me at least. Do you guys? Can you guys see it? If you want. The prediction. The prediction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not in chat right now. I I want to see if there's another level f one fight in the bot lane. The New York teleport for the Pentacle. Well, we have a minute left until the game starts. I just want to point out, I am still uh, my position for my ARAM recap is still over one thousand. It's yeah. been like that for two days. Rough. They really need some support in this website now. Yeah, I could spend five euros. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Jesus. Donate to get priority. Wow, that's rough. Also, uh, for this doesn't seem that great of a casting game because you ult in, you're either going to get a Mumu CC'd, Shogas Silent, or Syndra Knockback. So it's... Oh yeah, I mean, that's, these champs just kind of play themselves, right? Yeah, it's just a little difficult for Cassidy to navigate the team fight. But if he does get onto the Jinx... Yeah, she probably dies. He just blows him up. Yes, we'll see. Very interesting to see how it goes. Because the way I see teamfights going is uh, Wukong, Seraphine, ult go down, Kassadin, and Olsen, Amumu survives, presses R, and then they just tree cleans up. 
Uh, unless, like, Jin got caught or something. Uh, yeah, Tony... <laughs> Tony pointing out that Colonel did a classic troll pick that he picked. He did the same thing with Zier when he was his captain. So in the finals of the last booth bash, I remember he picked Lee Sin and Azir in the finals, and I was a little confused because I'd never seen him play those champions before. And I was like, I'm pretty sure if he just plays Silas, they would do a lot better. But I I saw his casting in Grim. It did very well that game, so maybe that's where he got the confidence to play this game. So I. I'm just looking forward to see how that goes. Yeah, and oh, yeah. you know. Listen, yeah, the new mastery cast, and we'll, we'll see, see what happens. Maybe she just really wants those channel points. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Isn't that the real boot splash victory? Guess whoever gets to buy the channel with channel points. I think whoever gets a million channel points should, uh... Does anyone have a million channel points? I don't oh, people take so. this seriously. I want somewhere, it probably has one, yeah. Alright, Misfortune started tier. I want well, to see the level 1 fight now. Cassidy mm -hmm. started Dark Seal. No more Alright, you know what? That is in line with the Cassidy and Insta pick, though. It's like, I have so much confidence. Oh yeah, you gotta start a Dark Seal. Yep. You're getting first blood, baby. <laughs> you gotta take Ignite too. What's this TP? You know, I'm kind of surprised Bert has the spell thieves and not the Dark Seal start. Get your first kill, Dark Seal back. Get the spell thieves then. That's how yep. you play real support. Also, first strike casted. I don't know if that's normal or not. Oh yeah, first to cast it. It, it can be normal, I just don't think it's what you want to do in this lane. Yeah, I don't know if it's ideal in the Syndra, because I don't know how much gold you're going to get from it. I mean, yeah. as much as you can get in cast isn't it? I, yeah, I like Fleet, personally. Yeah, but... you need to sustain the hit level 6. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, so find a level 1 fight, just hanging out, mm -hmm. everyone chilling. Pretty, pretty calm. Oh, mm. interesting, there's Grasp on York. Oak from the Syndra. Finding and a miss. Um. Uh, Cassidy didn't, didn't take W level 2, which would have helped him clear. Uh, oh yeah, you gotta take W level 2 in Cass. Even level 1 sometimes. In the melee matchups, I take it all one. I was just taking it so you can last hit better in the tower. Oh yeah. Ooh, Momo was taking a lot of poke there from Noodle Magic. I am surprised to see a TP from this Cinder. I mean, with Ignite, you really get to. Wait, what? Yeah. But won't be happening this game. Nope. Fudge cow is gonna push in this way. Cheater. No, I'm gonna stay. Oh, the root oh, of fortune. I think pretty low. Not nah, in close enough range. King Pumi Not... taking the right decision to back off before going in the tower. Um. Merrick, who's my event buff? Are you talking about Mumu or Wukong? Oh, Mumu did it. Ooh, battle in the jungle, though. Actually, no. Man, um, I've read that it's good to smite your first buff, um, just so you can hit level... You can clear faster or something. It's like a small micromanagement thing. I don't know how true that is. I like to grease sometimes and just save it for another camp so I can get scuttled with the other smite. Whoa, wait. That's the EU lag right there on the Cho'Gath Q missing. That looked like it was hitting on my screen. The EU lag from... Wait, King Dante in Nah, Europe? too wary. Like the Wukong W'd, but it didn't look like it was a W on our side. Maybe on his kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, it just looked weird. Like I was like, I was sure that Q hit. 
Yeah, the flash from Cho'Gath was burnt, but nothing else has really happened this game. Uh, I guess who's oh. gonna get a nice double scuttle? Based hex blast on Cho'Gath too. Well, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Plays are gonna come out. All right, Amumu double scuttled. We can just say who's winning this jungle fight. That's the Kentech champion right there. All right, that's true. All right, the double sheen. The double tier double sheen on failure. Oh, side. you scared me. I thought someone built two sheens. No, no, no. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Oh, the Commando Lux skin I just noticed. One of the best ones in the game. Uh, the CS is much more even now in the bot lane compared to the last two games. And the top lane. Like, oh, I'm yeah. pretty impressed with the right. Shogath. You also get the feast off the minion for free health. True. I don't know what oh. the- Oh, the Moomoo. Moomoo walking right up to Booze. No yeah. flash. There it is. That's gonna have to be oh, first. And Oh, oh the bandage all up isn't there. I'm gonna get out the flash from the heal burn. Still not too great. Alright, looks like they're gonna be freezing the wave bot lane. Yeah, I think if you go wrong. I think if you go tier first and cast it in lane, you don't do damage to anything ever. Whoa, whoa, he went Dark Seal first. Let's oh, no, I know. Tony was Dark asking why not. And Doran, so definitely cashing on these early stats. Oh, yeah, that's true. Triple starter item on Cassidy. Mm -hmm. At least the tier upgrades, but. Yeah, triple starter item indeed. Honestly, how Ningo. bad would Doran's shield be here, though, for Cassidy? Yeah, when oh hit it, God. Wait, 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 avoid the last auto attack. He's staying though. Kassin's still there. He, he's even got the TP up. I don't know what he's got to stay for. Yes. Uh... Oh no. Oh interesting. Mumu's top. He sees there is. that Yorick's here. Oh, you're I, You do not win this though. Yeah, this is a level oh, 7 no. York and a level 5 Amumu. Gonna have to flash the cage. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Not the best of fights to take. Alright. Casted in, greeted, and got to save teleport. So that's the, that's the pro right there. Right, he has like hit level 6. Freljord is doing the dragon. They have yep. no idea about this. However, uh, Darth the camera cares more about the, the battle in the top lane. Oh yeah, it's just a free dragon. <clears throat> I'm moving coming back top for blue buff. We'll see if he tries to gain top again once he's six. I assume he's six off that. I uh, mean, you just blue. saw Wukong do the bot. Should probably look for Herald. I guess Syndra's battling bot instead. Yeah, top's backing too. This could have been like a really free Rift Herald. Oh, King Pui is six. Noodle just is six. Once Seraphim hits six, that bot lane could be in trouble. Nice trade in the mid lane, pretty even. Cassidy had dealt 35 damage with first strike and gained 45. Oh, great blinding That's on the Seraphine. First. Chompers, yep. That's just a great That's kill. A first kill. Oh, oh it looks like it might be more. Just well, leave the wave. We might look to flash on this, pick oh, up the kill. We'll do out. it. Oh, Lone Wolf is, is so low. Knock it off. Wolf, no. Teleport's gonna come in and ultimately get cancelled. 
Oh, by the kill. Oh, it seems like it's a kill in the mid lane. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the Kassan and TP. So I guess Sid oh, it was Kassan to block it. Wow, it gets cancelled. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, wow. Crazy. Alright, well, meanwhile, they get Great a triple kill and Freljord still gets the Rift Herald. Yeah, Just well, uncontested. made it down the bot side. Yeah, the junglers weren't uh, part of any of that, so... Please put vision on objectives. And Rift Herald given over to Fudge Cow himself, so committing the Herald to the top lane. Oh, Can't be surprised. They're trying to kill I Sav. I think that's a bit ambitious. Yeah, it might be just to get them low enough so you can drop the Rift Herald. Like when Syndra has to back, but Syndra does have TP. But Yorick is the one with Herald. Oh, Yorick has it? Yeah. Interesting. Well, Mumu's pathing away. This is gonna crash. He hasn't even dropped it yet. That's just his maiden. <laughs> oh. He's yeah, not. He's just not. Maybe he uses it for the fast maiden. back. I don't hate it. Won't you join them? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't, don't want to wait to pop it. See yeah. if you can actually kill the turret. If he does. He also has to play this game of not letting the maiden die to the turret. Which is like the weird back forth path thing. Oh, Kasten is also top. There's no vision to see this. Alright, Kasten is just backing off. Yeah. Oh, and Amumu's looking for this bot dive. This bot lane is dead. Just, yeah, they don't, they don't know it yet. All yeah. the summer spells, though, are up, so. Well, Amumu could miss the Q, and then that kind of derails us. But, not, but he had another one. Right side to dive. Yeah, uh, that's we're having him a Syndra. Oh. But. Moon was just gonna go in the Take the Q! Take the Q! No! Yeah, the Q, gonna have the Q. Does. There's the kill. Oh. Simple as that. Second right. Q back the in. Dive was effective. There's the ult. There's the second. Cassidy and coming in 1v4. Yeah, the exhaust's gonna deny the kill. So that's yeah. now 6 0 oh, for, for Sharima. TP back mid to catch the wave. Yo, boost, please yeah. stop taking tower plates. <laughs> Look, Let your for setting up the dive, he gets it, money. right? She is so fed. The mummy reaps the reward. Even the casters are hating him. Gotta get some friends. Yeah. Oh, well, Twerry's down here. I don't like this, personally. Oh, this is really no. bad. Yeah, now it's oh. his turn to walk in when he's something. Wait, it's a moon? Right? Kind of... Yeah, pops. Yeah, just goes down. The bullet time, oh. also not gonna find one. Ooh, and finally, they get the kill with the Seraphine. But it totally looks like it might just be one in return for four. <laughs> so, still a big W for. Yep. But worth noting that shutdown and kill went on to the Seraphine building a support mythic and not lethality MF. And right. support mythic is OP. Still rocking the hero. Oh, we're dropping it now. It's time. Yeah, build dropped. And this turret is all but done. The demolish and the charge coming in. We'll so see what happens now. Have to come up for the... Nah, it's not gonna crash again. You chunk the gold over in the pocket. You're... Gonna push this in. Yeah, we're probably gonna like lose out of this dragon. Shreema can just move in and take it now. Well, Freljord can move yeah. in once they see Amumu's not there. Like, I don't the think... The HP bars are the bot lane in the jungle, Shreema though. can fight without this Amumu, yeah. They're just gonna go in. They can. Oh, huge Ooh, root from Huge Seraphine. damage, Gets though. Blue. Return fire though picks All up right, one. Alright, I take it back. Picks up two. Picks yeah, up. Yeah, the the there's problem two. is Karima used all of their ultimate in the skirmish yeah. bot lane, and that's kind of what their whole identity is as a uh, therapy MF. Yeah, that Lux ult just. I mean, the Lux abilities just hit every. Nothing more to be said. They're they have the Chemtech champ, and they're doing Chemtech things. But, no uh, Dark Seal yet. Unfortunately, we don't have a Camp Touch break. Oh, yeah, no Dark Seal with 10 assists. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Wow. So unlike him. Really needs the Ludens, huh? Picked up even a tier. Oh. Big poke coming into the Seraphine. No ults to finish her off. Nope. Gonna get Echoes of Helia. I didn't. I don't know if that item's real. Wait, Wait. what is Twerry? Oh. Okay, right now, Kastidin has a total of 81 damage dealt with oh, first strike. Oh, the... Oh, 
Wow, this Jinx is doing a lot of damage. Even chasing down Wukong flashes out, but still in range for the zap and the last auto. It's not actually going to get the Q. Oh, wow. Oh. The rocket, though, is going to. Yeah, you can't dodge the Jinx ult on 100. Pain. You can't even use your clone either because of the flash damage. Yeah, the AoE is just going to hit you. And that feels bad. So 9 and 1 on the Jinx in this game. Insanely fast for Dreamer. Nine, one, and two. Eleven KP in the bot lane. Zero in the top lane. Only four in the jungle. There's having a. Well, you, but, uh, you're you're taking a second doing turret, what, so. Doing what he needs to do. Indeed, he is, and that's gonna be the way to win this game. He also has Divine Cinder, but Cinder's here, so he's probably dead. Yeah, and the three for one. There's no yep. chance yet. He can actually get a return. Oh, he eats him. That's and, another oops, kill. Jinx, Jinx casually picking up another kill, burning a flash in the process. And I mean, the Cassidy's inventory. Yeah, he, it does have the he catalyst. needs to chill the fuck out until level sixteen and four items at this point. Yeah, five deaths too many. Oh, Jinx's oh gonna, no! I have to get the turret to proc the passive and. Maybe try to turn the fight a bit. TP's coming in, but not doing quite enough damage yet. You should be able to kill that, Andrew. But huge shutdown. Also onto the Seraphine. Really cool so her pocket's getting rich, but building fake items. Yep. Seraphine doesn't. is the second so. most amount of gold on her team. Oh yeah, with the with the gold picked up from those, I'm not surprised. See what she can do with it. Oh, Hopefully, it'll do something. Yeah, a really big root gonna land, and that's just gonna be the end of magic. This one, yeah. The kill score now does accurately reflect the gold lead going on. 6k advantage. It's gonna. Too. This Jinx is just unstoppable. Point. Maybe a little oh, stoppable man. by the hands of Seraphine, but the, the Maiden uncontested in the bot lane. A TP could through. Uh, looks like it won't. Demolishes down, and this turret might just fall the same way. And that'll be some objective bounty, and the map opened up a bit as the orc starts his job. Pullbreaker second gets the objective bounty, closes the gap of by about a thousand. If you're Shirena, count, I think you kind of just have Syndra match York from here on out. You might have to. I don't know how well the Shogath can stand up against the Divine Sunder. All the percent damage. She's got to be careful. She's still an AD carry. <laughs> Indeed, he is still a squishy, immobile AD carry. The hands of four others. Boots actually have to flash out of the cage of one. Oh, he's going Let's straight into Twary. He gets Twary looks to Twary. pick up the kill. Uh, that's Not two quite there. As Moose survives on a sliver of HP, unfortunate. Yes. But... The gold lead is there for a stream, and they... the game, despite how much they're ahead, is still on a bit of a time against a split pusher like you are going And not that they don't scale well, but like, oh, combo. do have to be careful. And yeah, casted and caught out, gonna have to bolt out in the long run it has. Ten. Yep. Harold. Ooh, surfing ult on the Jinx, though. Oh, He's gonna follow it up. Didn't. The but up. no one else is going in. The flash is still available for. <laughs> but that but, just uh, shows how easy we'll walk it out can and... be for uh, Freljord to get a team fight, though. A team fight win? Oh, yeah. You just need to hit a good Seraphine ult, Wukong ult. York is here. He killed Old Breaker and started dragging. grouping. And uh, can't really be contested. Oh, a move is going be in. Eaten kind by of Who's looking for this angle to engage? 
the rocket Tana. goes wide. Oh my but god, look at the damage. They're dying anyways. Oh, the Amumu damage, the last tier. Yeah, finally gets it. We'll go down. The orc's gonna get ended too. Does complete the whole breaker. Cassin's clear up mid. On his yeah, way out. It's, it's, still it's kind of strange. Old. Orc completed the whole breaker and then proceeded to group. And then group. <laughs> Next DB. It yeah. has good stats. It's gold efficient. So, and here we are at the 20 minute mark where Baron is now an objective and one that Shreem will definitely have their eyes on to match the power of pushing. And All right, we got 18 kill lead. We got three minutes down on Rod of Ages. And we have a three stack yeah. on Dark Seal on the luck support. We're at a 10, still level 10 though. On this Cassidin to the 13 of the Syndra. Down a bit of gold too, around 4,000. It's just uh, it's a tough spot, but not even the Seraphine, who's picked up these shutdowns, is ahead in gold. But she is Ooh, ahead in gold to her mid laner. Seraphine went Syndra, video. Just Yeah, just casually wandering around the jungle. And Without the Wukong, no fight's really going to be engaged. And they might not even want to. Kui is dealing with a red buff. Actually going to go over to Cho'Gai. Should go over and pick it up, but... I mean, they're getting XP for Cassidin and York. York got a big wave in the bot lane. Yep, Cassidin finally hitting 12. York with the Maidens pushing in a really big... It's going to need to answer to really... Especially um... with the you're up. Luxel going a bit wide as Syndra's gonna get a with using the flash and ult. And the Baron's here. Very flashes in. Oh. Doesn't get the steal. That's a shame. Oh, combo's going in. Yeah. Try to stop the backs. And... Yeah, stops the backs. Nice. Actually willing to give his life to stop the backs, even though they are a Baron. So you have turrets down, but he has to know he can't go for this in hit. He is gonna die. Yep. Really wanna get respect it. Okay. Gets the wave, and is gonna get it, so... Only an end turret for the Baron, and a few kills. But... At least getting something. That was so much damage do. from the Lux ult. For Freljord. Yeah, and this Lux, I mean... Finally got the Dark Steel, only on 5 stacks with 17 assists. Rabbit on second for Syndra. Just be able to, able, able to afford... The luxury of that kind of build. Alright, frontline jinx. Frontline jinx marching up the mid lane with this Baron buff. Cassidy on the side, Wukong. Oh the no. Blue buff. Yeah, MF hoping to clear the wave, but it in. has to give the life in the process of the self. Uh, the. You know, bought some time, but with the life of the AOC. And the push is so devastating that even York. And Seraphine just picked off with. So fed. And this Jinx is even. Has to go back and heal. And I mean, they. They might just need to give this in hit. Yeah, I think the wave yeah. for this team without the misfortune is just not there. Awesome. Oh. oh, yeah. And, uh... Just solid out, Phil. combo distracting them, but... That is, yeah, the problem with this Cassidy, I mean, it's scaling, does have all. maybe, but without the wave clear power of a mage. Oh, yeah. Uh, MF the, that down. the Jinx is resetting. The Luxult kills two, it just does yeah. damage. This has to My be god. Game. Yeah. yeah. Getting like four for one. To the final. Having a Jinx with all these passive reset stacks. Blessed Isles and Shurima, the bottom rank two in the regular season, are both going to meet in the final. What are you talking about? We finished fourth. Oh, I thought you, oh right, Bandle City was a team. I forgot they existed, sorry. But just Damn, I forgot it's strong game one, too. 30 to 4 in the kills, and it will be, indeed, Shurima making it to the finals. Hooray! Good play by Shareem, by Sharima there. Indeed, after the 
pretty horrific game one. I uh, was able to neutralize the threat of the year guard in the time. No more 14 minutes to kills. Just great gameplay by Sharima. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really played well as a team, and that's how they get. Alright, you want to get the captains in here? Yeah. Yeah, let's get them. I'll ask them what their strategy is for next week. <laughs> oh, we also need an MVP vote. I think Grant in the audience, so I'm gonna make him make it. Yes. I have a really important picture to put up on the screen too. Once I can get it up. So far the Kentech theory is uh Still like there it. it is, a Mumu duty. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face of the man that picked the Mumu, what, yes. four or five times in Kentex this season and done, I think, four or five wins. So, are you going to be banning it in the finals? Well, we'll see. I may have, uh, I may have mm -hmm. a Hextech champion theory. That beats out the Chemtech champion theory, so Ooh. we'll see. I'll be looking forward to that. All right, let's see if we can get Sav in here. Oh, there we go. Congratulations, Sav. GG's on your win. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great good job game. with the Syndra. Great job with making Booze play a Moomoo. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah, the picture says it all. <laughs> uh, but, you know, he, he's happy. Look, look at that face. Yep. That's the face of a man that's going to the Booze Bash 11 Chemtech Sm finals. Smiling under those bandages. <laughs> no, everyone did great. All right. I have to say. Going into the first game, what was your prep like? What like what were you guys thinking going into this series? Uh, I think I think our draft went a little different game one than I was expecting. But there's a lot of talk during the day that I couldn't get in on because I you know I wasn't uh, in the Discord. Because okay. I think we wanted to play <laughs> some people who could who could go in. You know, original plan I think was a Siver plan, but. Uh, they ended up on Sivir. Yep. Yeah, they took the Sivir. They took... Uh... Yeah, they took Sivir. The Silas was kind of a surprise pick from us. Like, after seeing the Urga into the Malphite, but... Silas did a lot of work. Yeah, it was a really smart draft. Yeah, but like, then... Every, every, every ult he stole was a great ult. Yep. Yeah, it was. I thought... Silas becoming Nocturne is kind of funny. But yeah, so then going into game two, I guess kind of like what was like the mind shift change? What was like the change that you think kind of started the catalyst towards um, this victory? Well, we, we figured game one, we let them play Skarner, which was uh, that's actually the reason we lost. So then we just decided to ban it for the rest of the series, and that is the sole reason that we won that, that game. Well, wow. yeah, it's kind of uh, no, we 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 wanted to get some tanks, get a little beefier, uh, go a little more protect protect the eighty carry mid. I think we we cleaned up our positioning a lot. Game one, uh, we got at macroed pretty hard. Yeah, I so it worked out game worked out really well. Good. What I, we liked is there's one time where you turned into a minion as Nico. Walked up with the wave, and we think every single person on Freljord started pinging that there was four minions. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if, because I think, I think there was a time when everyone was 
uh, back it up, and I'm like, ah, oh, they know. Yeah, but you had some like really clutch Nico alts. You guys layered the Amumu Nico alt really well, and the Swain alt, like the big circles. <clears throat> Bert got yep. to 10 Dark Steel stacks. That was very important. If the team fight looks like a Venn diagram, it's going to go well. True. Yeah, and then in game three, you decided to stick with the Amumu. You guys decided the same bands. Was there like a big, like, an idea between the shift in some of the picks? Like, you went with the Lux Jinx instead of Swain. You went back to Syndra. Uh, no, I think game three, It was we just wanted to keep it pretty similar. We knew we wanted to be a little bit farther back. I didn't get to see a lot of the action because it all happened bot lane <laughs> on game nope. three early. And game two early, there was the level one fight. With the uh, the vein and the Ziver. They but I think the fight spot like lane just... CS between the two of them. It was pretty funny. The fight spot lane just turned out well, and game three, we were just able to capitalize on that way more. Oh, there's one play I want to talk about. It happened in game two. All right, here, here's the scenario. You got Lone Wolf, Twain, no boot, only vibe, flashes into three of them, ult. And just walks at them. And at first we were all like, what the fuck is he doing? But then the rest of your team showed up and just completely wiped him out. And that was able to snowball you guys from fucking around in mid lane or just clearing waves to actually going forth and getting objectives and kills from that point. Was that was that planned? Did he say anything? Did he just fucking do I, it? I, no, no, that was not planned. I think he, he just was relying on us to follow up and we did because we you know we, we saw him go in and <laughs> <laughs> i don't think anyone said a word in that fight to be honest i don't remember anyone calling it but we sh we show up when one of our when, when someone walks with them we show up all right all right interesting interesting that's the team chemistry you need you don't even need to make call outs to know what each other are doing <laughs> <laughs> so i have to say as your opponent for next week, are you excited to play against Blessed Isles? All round two, let's go. Mm. Do you think you'll win, knowing that we will not have Juan here this time? Ah, that's right. I think we have a good chance, you know. We're we're pretty we're pretty confident. Oh wait, we did play. Oh, who was on your team for that? You were on the team. There was a little bit of an Ash Blitzcrank incident that game, so uh, you know we're just gonna wipe that from our memory. But hey, I did well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so yep, yeah, well, good luck in the the finals next week. Hopefully it'll be a great series. I look forward to playing you. Yeah, good games today too. Everyone did pretty well. Thanks for coming in.